Hello people, today we will talk about Metro Boomin. Metro Boomin is an influential American record producer, DJ, and songwriter, best known for his work in the hip-hop and trap music scenes. Born Leland Tyler Wayne on September 16, 1993, in St. Louis, Missouri, he has become one of the most sought-after producers in the music industry, working with some of the biggest names in rap and earning a reputation for his distinctive beats and soundscapes. Metro Boomin grew up in St. Louis, where his love for music began at an early age. His mother, Leslie Wayne, bought him his first laptop, which helped him begin experimenting with music production software like Fruity Loops, FL Studio. At the age of 13, he started making beats and quickly developed a passion for creating music. Originally, Metro Boomin wanted to be a rapper, but after realizing his talent for production, he shifted his focus entirely to beat making. He started reaching out to rappers on social media in high school, offering them free beats to build his name in the industry. His first major connection came when he started working with Atlanta rapper OJ DeJuiceman, which led to Metro frequently traveling to Atlanta to collaborate with other up-and-coming rappers. Metro Boomin's breakthrough came when he moved to Atlanta, Georgia, to attend Morehouse College, where he briefly studied business management before focusing entirely on his music career. His work with Atlanta's rising stars, including Future, Young Thug, and Gucci Mane, helped him establish a strong reputation in the industry. In 2014, Metro's production work on Future's mixtape Monster and tracks like Karate Chop and Honest helped solidify his status as one of hip-hop's premier producers. He became known for his signature dark, moody trap beats, often punctuated by his famous producer tag. Metro Boomin has collaborated with many of the biggest names in the hip-hop world, including Drake, Kanye West, 21 Savage, Travis Scott, Migos, and The Weeknd. Some of his most notable hits include Jumpman with Drake and Future from the What A Time To Be Alive mixtape, Mask Off by Future, Bad and Bougie by Migos featuring Lil Uzi Vert, which became a chart-topping hit, Congratulations by Post Malone featuring Quavo, Bank Account by 21 Savage, Heartless by The Weeknd. In 2017, Metro teamed up with rappers 21 Savage and Offset of Migos to release the collaborative album Without Warning, which included the hit single Ric Flair Drip. That same year, he also released the joint project Double or Nothing with rapper Big Son, further establishing his versatility as a producer. In 2018, Metro Boomin released his debut solo album, Not All Heroes Wear Capes, which featured collaborations with top artists like Travis Scott, 21 Savage, Sway Lee, and Young Thug. The album debuted at number one on the Billboard 200, demonstrating Metro's ability not just as a producer, but as a curator of hit projects. Songs like Space Cadet and Ten Freaky Girls were standout tracks from the album. Metro followed up with another collaborative album in 2020, Savage Mode 2, with 21 Savage. The project was a sequel to their 2016 collaboration Savage Mode, and received widespread critical acclaim, featuring standout tracks like Running and Mr. Right Now, featuring Drake. It debuted at number one on the Billboard 200. Metro Boomin's production style is known for its heavy use of 808 bass, dark melodies, and cinematic atmospheres, often drawing from trap influences, but expanding them into new sonic territories. He is credited with helping shape the sound of modern hip-hop and trap music influencing a new generation of producers. His consistent output of chart-topping hits, combined with his ability to work across various artists and styles, has solidified his place as one of the most important producers in the 2010s NBA. Metro Boomin has been relatively private about his personal life, but has always emphasized the influence of his mother, Leslie, in his career. Tragically, in June 2022, Metro's mother was killed by her husband, who then took his own life. The devastating loss had a profound impact on Metro, but he has continued to honor her memory through his music and career. In addition to his work as a producer, Metro has expanded his brand through partnerships and entrepreneurial ventures, including launching his own label, Buminati Worldwide. Fun facts, Metro Boomin started making beats at the age of 13. Despite his early success, Metro initially went to college before leaving to pursue music full-time. Metro Boomin continues to shape the sound of contemporary hip-hop, and his contributions to the genre 
have made him one of the most influential producers of his generation. I ask you to like the video, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you later.